Hey everyone, this is the second part of how certificates work. We will unleash the mystery of certificate and in this part we will look at asymmetric encryption. Well, asymmetric encryption works using a key pair. Two different keys that are related mathematically. Now, one key, which is the private key, should be kept safe. That's the secret key. The second key is a public key. Anyone can use it. Anyone can look at it. You can encrypt using the private key or using the public key. You cannot encrypt and decrypt using the same key. You have to use the second pair in order to encrypt or decrypt. Now, we will look at OpenSSL and how do we generate a key pair. One is, one is a private key and the second one is the public key. But the beauty, the beauty of asymmetric encryption or using a key pair is the fact that they're not only used in encryption. They are also used to authenticate the identity of the second peer. A server that wishes to have a digital certificate must generate a key pair. It must generate a public key and a private key. There are different algorithms that uh, will allow it to do so. We will use RSA. Now we'll use OpenSSL, uh, Gen RSA, and let's name our um, our key pair. Let's name it Forty Key, and let's contain it in, in a PM uh, format, which is a container that will include both keys. And let's decide that the size of the keys will be 2048 bit. And that's about it. Now, if we wish to see the both the public key and the private key to inspect them individually, we can do so using the following command. Open SSL. RSA, let's insert the file that we have just created, 40key.pm, and let's get the public key out of it. And let's name it mykey.pub. All right, it's writing it. Let's see how it looks. Let's open the key and that's our uh, public key. Now if we wish to see the private key we can use the following command and that's the private key. So we have a public key and a private key and those two are used when a server requests a certificate using a certificate signing request, it sends the public key as a part of its information. We will look later on how a certificate authority takes that information and actually creates a digital certificate plus a digital signature that will prove that he or it is the one that it claims to be.